Hi, I'm Justin Darnell. I'm a middle school science teacher selected as the 2010 Colorado Teacher of the Year. I found that when working with students from disadvantaged backgrounds, one of the main things is to have the quality instructional practice which would work for any student, which means taking the time to build relationships, getting to know my students on a more personal level, finding out their interests, what do they like to do after school, what do they like to do on the weekends, what are their family do? What do their parents do for a living? And how can I incorporate their interests and their ideas into my classroom so that I'm respectful of their culture and their knowledge, as well as letting them know about myself, my culture, my experiences, so that we can find the common ground? Because there's more in common than there is that we have indifference. Every unit I teach in science, we have an overarching question. And everything we learn leads to an answer toward that question. Right now, my seventh grade students are completing a video project on the human body. In this video project, they have to synthesize the information and pull it together. However, they do that in whatever way is meaningful to them so that they are able to incorporate, if they're a skateboarder, they bring that into the video and talk about how the skateboarding and how it's what's happening in their body is related to that. Parents can be a great support for schools. One way that they can do that is by coming to the teacher, coming to the administration, and asking what it is that their students are doing in the classroom. Ask questions, find out what's going on, and try to find ways to help around things like organization, and find out, for instance, in my science class, we use a, a science notebook, and please find out what is it that is in this notebook, and how can you help your students utilize this piece of information in our class to study for tests, and to talk and have questions at home and discuss the information. That one little piece makes a huge difference. I think if a parent is having a difficult time connecting with a teacher, one thing to try would be um, if, if you've called, if you've emailed, if you've come into the school and you're unsuccessful, then approach the administration, approach the, approach the assistant principal, approach the principal, and let them know of your interest to speak with that teacher and try to get some more information. Recently, there's been a lot of conversation about teacher effectiveness and about how they are or are not meeting the needs of diverse learners. I am of the opinion that there is really a need to hold teachers accountable for what they do, hold teachers accountable for meeting the needs of students. I think we do need teacher effectiveness. However, I think we need to be careful how we do it because all students have different needs it's difficult to use one form of assessment. You need to have many different tools that you utilize to determine whether a teacher is doing what they need to do within their profession. So we might need to have observations of that teacher. You also might need to use assessment data. You need to use some form of student and parent survey data as well as uh, student work and look at all of these pieces and tie them all together to get the big picture of whether or not that person is effective. Starting with team member one, you're going to go around the table and share what you said for what is weighing. Please make sure that you listen because the person who's called on is going to have to tell me every idea they heard at their table. Team member one, go. Yeah, to make sure we hear what Lucy has to say. Lucy, please tell us. What did your group members say about a wave? What Sounded like space that is transmitted.